Yes? Yes, teacher. Are we still together? I remember I'm not yet back. Okay. So Bridget is back. Then Son is back. Not Son? Yes. Yeah. Mm. But to, are we together on this one? Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Let me take you to the next page. But before even we move to the next page, mm -hmm. let me, let's first let's come back here. I want you to do, I want to give you another one. Number three. Number three. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm using a ruler. Please, if you are there and you are not using a ruler, then I don't know what to tell you. Mm -hmm. I have this. That is north. I have that one also. That is north. Let me say this is point P. This is what? Q. Okay. And this angle is 45 degrees, members. That angle is 45 degrees. Okay. The question is, the question is, find for me the bearing of P from Q. Who can give us? What is the bearing of P from Q? Yes? Hey, yes, son? Yes, son? What is the bearing of P from Q? Please, are you getting me? Yes, teacher. Yes, what's the bearing of P from Q when you look at our drawing there? Can you give me that? 45, south 45 degrees. South 45 degrees, uh huh. East. East? Look at it well, look at it well. Look at our compass, look at our compass, look at our compass. I think the compass. I think the compass. Yeah. I think where west is. This is west, not okay. south. I think that. Yeah. Uh huh. So which means yeah. supposed to be south. Forty-five degrees. What? West. West. Good. Like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Then what will be the bearing? The bearing of Q from P. Uh huh. What will be the bearing of P? I mean, of Q from P. Yes. What's the answer? Yes, Bridget. Bridget, can you give us answer for that? Bearing of. Yes, the one you are seeing on my screen. Are you able to see my screen, Bridget? Yes. Uh huh. We have already got bearing of P from Q. Now we want to find the bearing of Q from P. What is the answer? Please. Check, 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 Bridget, check. I said you start either from north or from south. From north or from south. Uh-huh. North. Uh-huh, north, uh-huh. 45 degrees. 45 degrees, uh-huh. West. West? Check. Check, East. Your, check your compass. East. This is north, this is east, this is west, east. this is south. I think that. Yes. Yeah. This is east, this is south, this is what? West. west. Okay? So which means supposed north. to be north 45 degrees, what? East. East. Like that. Yes, Austin. Austin, I'm seeing your answers up. Austin. Yes, Austin. Austin, your hand is up. Please, can you talk? Okay. Austin is not talking.
Members? Mm. Have you seen the question on the screen? Have you seen the question on the screen? Yes. Uh, just give me the bearing. Give me the bearing. Using compass bearing. Give me the give me the bearing of those points. Give me the answer for A. Uh-huh. Five degrees south. North. Forty-five degrees. What? So. Huh? Check your compass. West. Check the, West. Check the, uh huh. West. Good. Uh huh. What about B? What about B? The second one. This one. This one here. What is the compass of that? What is this compass? Remember the angle is small. Are you seeing that angle, members? Are you seeing that angle? Yes. Uh huh. Let me draw it for you here so that you can oh. see. It. Let me draw it for you. You can see it. South. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they have given is this angle. This is it. This is point A. This is C, right? The angle they have given here is 22.5 degrees. So look at the angle they would have given it. And now when you look at what we have discussed here before, I think that angle members, I think here. Hmm? Yes. It's like they're talking, it's like they've given us this one. I think this. I think that. Yes. Uh-huh. So this angle is 22 point. Point five. So what is the what is I think the bearing there? I think the bearing there. Yeah. What's the bearing? Yes. What's this bearing? South uh, east, so, east south east. east. Good. So the bearing is it? The bearing is what? East? East South East. Are you together members? Yes. yes. Yes, as simple as but. that. Someone may ask, why are we not why are we not putting the angles inside? Hmm? Because this one is the smallest division now. This is the smallest what eh? division. And and it is found on our what? Eh? We have it on the compass. We have it on the what? On our compass when we are drawing. Are you together, members? Yes. Yes, that's why we are putting it direct. Uh huh. What about the third one? What about this one? This one here? What is that? What is the bearing? What is that bearing? Who can give us that bearing? Yes. The angle is forty-five. Not so. Well. West, south, west. Hey, please you check the angle. The angle is 45 degrees. The angle is 45 degrees. Can you check that? Can you check that? Members, can you check that? Huh? They have drawn like this. They have drawn it like this. Not so? Please, let's not forget. Let's not forget. Be very. Take note of the direction. Take note of the direction and the angles. Take note of the direction and the what? And the angles. So we have point A is there, then D is here. So they have said this angle is what? 40? 45 degrees. So when you look at this is north, this is east, this is south, this is west. So what is the bearing of that? What's that bearing, members? You find that that angle, is, that bearing is what? South, not so? South. 45 degrees, what? West, have you seen that? Yes. Members, have you seen that? Yes, sir. Yes, let's not forget, let's not forget, please. Good. We are through with that. Let's move to example number two. The rest they are clear. This one they are clear. Now, members, members. Yes. Now we want to go to. Can you write sub adding? Sub adding.
true north that was that was what that was compass bear compass now let's look at true what true north bearing true north bearing true north bearing true north bearing let me take you back a bit Mm -hmm. Remember, are you seeing that? We are saying the true north bearing, the bearing, the bearing, the bearing, the bearing given in terms, in terms of angles, the bearing given in terms of angles, described in terms of angle described, in terms of angle what? Described clockwise. In terms of the angle described clockwise, the bearing given in terms of angles described clockwise, 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 either, I mean, described clockwise from, from the, from the compass, from the what, eh? from the compass, is called a true north. Is called what? True north. Is called true north bearing. Is called what? True north bearing. True north bearing. Yes, Gib. Can you stop writing on my screen, please? Stop writing on my screen. Mm -hmm. That's what we have. Uh huh. Full stop. It starts. It starts. It starts. It starts. Its directions. It starts with what? Direction from from where? Members from where? North. From the North Pole or from the North Line. From the North Pole or North Line. Full stop. Full stop. True North bearing. True North bearing. Let me people are writing as well. True North bearing. Bearings are also called, are also called three digits, are also called three digits bearing, are also called three digits bearing because, because, because they are, because they are given, they are given in three what? Digits. Three digits. Full stop. So if they are, you have, if you have angles, angles. So you said for all angles, for all what? For all angles less than, for all angles less than one hundred degrees. For all angles less than one hundred what? This degrees. degrees. Full stop. Comma. Iggy. Iggy. Iggy, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, zero degrees, okay? 30 yes. degrees are written, are written as, are written as, you first put zero first and then you write 40 what? 45, okay? All right, together. Mm -hmm. Zero, six, zero, zero, nine zeros. Zero, zero, zero degrees like that. Zero, 30 degrees, respectively. Respectively. Are you together, members? No, yes. That is for angles less than what? Less than? 100. Yes, so if the angle is less than 100, you bring the zero first. Why is that? Because we must write them in how many degrees? In Three digits. In three digits. Full stop. Mm -hmm. 
Let's look at examples. Draw. Examples. Examples. If I draw for you this, say for example, I've drawn for you these members. I'm drawing for you this. Okay. Mm -hmm. The angle is there. Mm -hmm. We have something like that. This is north. This is R. Huh? This is S. And then I would say this angle is 75 degrees. That angle is 75 degrees. Now I want you to give me in three north, in, in true north bearing, not in compass. Not in what? Compass bearing. Give me in, in true north bearing. Mm -hmm. So what is the bearing? The bearing yes. of the bearing of S from from Ara. What will what will be the bearing? The angle that says it's going to be it's going to be zero seven. Five. I think that I think that members. Yes. Yes. As simple as as simple as what that that is a b b. What if I have something like this? What if I have something like this, members? I have something like this. This is north. Okay? That is what? North. Now I've moved from the North Pole clockwise. Takes note of the direction of the arrow members. All movement must be clockwise. Are you together? Yes. Yes. So what is this bearing? What is the bearing here? What's the bearing there? From here to here, we said it's 90, not so? Then here is also what? 90. 90. So we, from here up to here is what? 108. So the bearing is what? 180 what? Degrees. Degrees. Because? Degrees. So because 90, 90 degrees plus 90 degrees give us 180 what? Degrees. Now, members, this one, you don't add zeros. You don't put again zero because you're already three digits. Some here again, we put 0, 180. No, that one now become four digits. Remember, we are talking of three digits. So here you don't add zeros, okay? Are you together? Yes. 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 Uh huh. Yes. Another one. Let me draw this. Let me draw this. Next. Members, are you following me? Members, are you following me? Let's say this angle is sixty degrees. Okay, that angle is sixty. What? So, what is the bearing? The bearing of B from A. Uh huh. What's the bearing of B from A? The angle here is 60 degrees. Members, what is that angle? What would be the bearing, six. sorry? Zero six. Eight, Zero three. six. Zero degrees, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. But what is the bearing? The bearing of A from B. The bearing of A from B. So which means you are going to measure this one. I think this up to that line. I think that. I think that. Members, have you seen that? Yes. Uh huh. But here, this angle is what? Sixty degrees. Not so. But we have seen that from here up to here is already 180. We need to get that angle is going to be 180 degrees plus what? Plus 60? Plus 60 degrees. So what do we get? We get 200 and? 270. It's 240. It's 240. Okay. 
Members, are we together? Yeah. Uh huh. Next, let's just discuss that. Let's just do that. I want you to understand this one very well. Mm -hmm. I have another point here. I have a point here. This time I'm going to draw it this side like that. This north, keep writing north. So this angle, this angle, let me say it's 30 degrees. That angle is 30 what? Degrees. Mm -hmm. So this is P, that is two, okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Now, what is the bearing? What's the bearing of of Q from P? What's the bearing of Q from P? Members? Yes. What's the bearing of P? What's the bearing of Q from P? The angle here is 30. So it's going to be zero. Yeah. The degrees zero three zero degrees. Uh huh. Now, what is the bearing? What is the bearing of P from from what? Q. Uh mm -hmm. So, which means we are measuring this one. We are measuring this one. I think that. I think that one. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. 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 Uh huh. What is that bearing? Remember this angle. Remember this angle is what? This angle is also going to be 30 degrees. Not so? Mm. Mm -hmm. So what is the bearing now? Remember from here to here is 180, right? So which means if you want to get that one now, you have to subtract. So it's going to be 180 degrees minus 0 and 3 what? Degrees. Have you seen that? So the bearing is what? 180. Is 150. Members, have you seen that? Yes. 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 As simple as what? As simple as what? Right. Good. Good. Any question? Any question? on how to determine the compass bearing and the true north compass, and the true north bearing, sorry. Is there any question there? Okay. Okay, Jeff is telling us everything is okay, sir. Mm -hmm. so the first part. Okay, now let's go for, part. let's go for, Drawing, subheading, subheading, <coughs> drawing, 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 accurate diagram, drawing, accurate what? Diagrams. Diagrams. How do we draw them? Okay. So we write with with accurate with accurate scale drawing with accurate scale drawing comma the following the following steps the following steps must be followed. The following step must be followed. The following step must be followed to draw an accurate diagram. To draw an accurate what? Diagram. The first one, members, the first one, make a sketch. Make a what? Sketch. Make a sketch. After making a sketch, then use 
a suitable scale. Use a suitable what? Scale. scale. To find, to find the length, to find the length of each line. To find the length of each what? Line. Okay. Yeah. Number three. Yeah. Step number three, use a protractor. That's why I was telling you to have a protractor. My Marco said, use a protractor. Use a what? A protractor to draw, to draw the angles. Use a protractor to draw the angles. To draw the angles accurately. To draw the angles accurately. Full stop. That is, put, put a protractor, put a protractor on, put a protractor on the north, on the what? On the north what? Members, on the what? North line. On the north line. line. On the north line. On the north line. Or across, or across a point, across a point, across a what? A point. A point. That is step number three. Step number four. Step number four. Use a ruler. Let me say. Let me even add this one. Use a transparent ruler. Use a transparent what? Transpar transparent ruler and compass. Use a transparent ruler and compass to draw to draw the length to draw the length accurately to draw the lines to draw the length. What is accurately? Members, how many are there? Four. There are four. The first one, make a what? Make a sketch. Make a sketch. Then use a suitable. In case the scale is not given, you have to pick a scale and use it, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then get a protractor. For me, I have all of them. My protractor is here. My ruler is there. Do you have yours? Yeah. I have a compass. Yes. My compass is there. Do you have yours? Yes. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Uh-huh. Now? Yes. Let's go to question now. Let's go to what? Questions. Questions? Example. Example number one. Let's start example number one. I see the question on your screen. Example number four here. That let me go back, let me go back, please. Let me go back a bit. Yeah. Members, are you seeing this question here? Question number four, example number four, are you seeing it? Yes. Uh-huh. So that's saying village A and B, let's start with that question. Village A and B, village A and B, uh, says that, the bearing of B from A to the upside, bearing, yes. bearing of, of B from where? From A. A. Zero, seven, five degrees. degrees, full stop. Uh-huh, the statement, the next one, can I move to the next page? No. Members? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's add, we have 10 minutes only remaining. 10 minutes only remaining. Then there's also the distance, okay? The distance between A and what? And B. What's the distance, member? The distance is what? 15, 15 kilometers. Members, are we together? 
Now part A, that's saying, represent about information on a scale what? Scale drawing. Scale what? Eh? Scale drawing. Then B, then we calculate, determine, should be determine the bearing, the bearing of A from, from what? From B. So solution members, that was that's the extract. Solution, can we go to the solution? Members, what we said, what do we do first? What do we do first? We first make a sketch, you know so? We first make a what? Yes. So our sketch, uh-huh. We just make a sketch. A sketch does not mean that you should not use a ruler, please. Okay? So what's the bearing? What's the bearing? They have said the bearing of B from A, which means this point is what? Is it A or B? This point is what? A. Is A. Uh -huh. And the angle is it? 75. The angle is what? 70 what? 75. I'm not going to use a protractor because I'm just giving a sketch. So what's the angle? The angle is between what? This line, not so? Not so? 75 is somewhere there. 75 is somewhere around here. We just sketch it. We just approximate it to be somewhere there. Members, are we together? Yes. Uh -huh. So this is what? B. So this angle is what? 70? 75 degrees. So what's the distance AB? The distance AB is what? 15? 15 what? 15 kilometers. Uh -huh. After that, after giving a sketch, what do we go for? We look for what? A suitable? Scale. So which scale should we use members? Suitable scale. Which scale should we use? Suitable scale. Mm -hmm. Which scale should we use? The one that we can draw. Now, when we talk about the scale, the one which we are going to use now to draw on papers, can we draw 15 kilometers on our book? Can we? Yeah. No. That one is impossible. So we have to get a scale. So we can say, let's say one what? One kilometer should represent, let's say three, three what? Centimeters. Three centimeters, that's our scale. Are you together, members? Yes. Uh -huh. Now let's convert it. Let's convert the 15 kilometer, kilometers to centimeters using our scale. So one kilometer, which is equals to three centimeter. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about 15 now? Hey, have we put this one well? Please let's let's change the scale. Let's check our scale. We have not put it well. So let's say one centimeter. Sorry, we have altered. Okay. One what? Centimeters to represent how many? To represent three kilometers. Okay. Members, let's go back and change the scale. Should be one centimeter to represent three kilometer. That should be our scale. Yes. Members, are we together? Yes. So we don't know that. So which means this one is now what? 15 kilometers. Then we cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, we shall have three X equals to 15. So X is equals to 15 divided by what? See, the answer we are getting here is in what? Is in centimeters. So what do you get? You get what? You get five. So which means instead of using 15 kilometers, we are going to use what? We are going to use we are going to use centimeters, which is five. Now, can you pick your graph paper or graph book? Graph book, then you come and write here accurate. Accurate drawing. Accurate what? Eh? Drawing. Members, are you there? Yes. Uh -huh. Let's add the members. We have only four minutes remaining. Let's add it. Uh -huh. Using the line which is already on the graph, I'm going to put there north. Members, let me hope you are following me. So this is point what? 
That is point A, not so? Now I want to, I want to measure 15 degrees, I mean 75 degrees. I think how you put your protractor members? I think how you put your protractor? Have you seen that? Yes. Uh-huh. So you put your we are going to use the outer scale. This is where the one zero is starting because we are starting measurement from the north pole. I think that. Have you yes. seen that? So yes. can you move 75? This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 is here. 75 is here. I'm seeing 75 is there. So can you put a dot there? Just put a dot. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Put the dot, then remove it. Remove your put remove your protractor, then pick a ruler now. A ruler, then draw a line that will pass through the point that mark your put. Okay. Like that. Just make it long like that. Members, are you together? Yes. Uh-huh. Then pick your compass. Pick your compass. Pick your pair of compass. Measure what? We are going to measure how many? Five what? Five centimeters. Five, five, centi five. five centimeters. Adjust and then measure five. Are you there? Yes. Uh-huh. Come and put it at point A. Make sure that it is exactly at point A. Are you there? Are you there? Yes. Uh huh. Then make an arc. Make an arc there. Make an arc there. Make it once. Make it once. Have you made it? Yes. Uh huh. Remove it. Remove it. Then from that point, come and draw the compass there. Come and draw the compass again, which is there, which is already there. So this is it. No. This point is what? That point is it. I don't know who is this one. Who is writing on my thing? Members, are we there? Yes. So this distance is what? This angle is it? 70? 75 degrees. 75 degrees. Then, this, what is this distance here? We got what? Was what? Five? Five centimeters. You can even prove it. Which, if you put your ruler there, when you measure that, look, when you just put it, it must give you five. I've seen mine. I've seen that. Yes. Uh huh. So we have. We have. That is our accurate drawing. That is our accurate what? Eh? Drawing. Drawing. Now, can you get for me the bearing? Get for me the bearing. Bearing. Bearing of of a. From a B, bearing of A from B. What is the answer? Zero seventy five. No, the bearing of A from B, which means you are going to measure from here. Are you seeing that? Yes. Remember, from here up to here is what? It's already one eighty, not so. So you have one eighty degrees plus this angle is what? 70? 75. So plus zero seven five degrees. So when you add that one, what do you get? You get two hundred and. Two hundred and what? Two hundred and fifty-five. Members, are we together? Yes. 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 That's how you should work it out. Okay. Yes. Is there any question? Emma, is there any question? Yes. Okay. So if there are no question. Our time is done. Thank you for attending the lesson. I can't, give ex I can't give exercise now. Our time is out, okay? Yes. Yes, I was told that you are moving for another thing. So thank you for attending. Be blessed, members. Thank you. Thank you for attending. Thank you. Yes. Yeah.